We're at the Sherry Bangla National Cricket Stadium here in Mirpur. One versus two. It's the qualifier, the Rangpur Riders taking on the Kumila Victorians. Head is the call. It's come down his head. What have you decided to do? A ball first. Three changes for Rangpur Riders. Tom Moots, Brendan King and Imran Tahir makes way for Fatalak, Faruqi, Mohamed Nabi and Nicholas Pora. Uh, they have a reputation for themselves. Both can uh, generate a lot of pace and extract. Umpires are at the middle. But the losing team will still get one more shot in the qualifier too. But at the moment, both the sides will be looking. Rangpur are off the mark, so does Ronnie Talukda with a juicy full toss. Thank you very much. No matter what level you are playing, as an opener, you're always nervy and edgy when you start your innings. And if you get a ball like this, those frayed nerves disappear quickly. He's off the mark with a boundary. Edged! Gone past the keeper. He's quick. Not happy. Ronnie Talukdar will take it. Yeah, we saw in the first game also, chances being grasped and this should have been a better try. Allowed it to go past him, the keeper and first slip was just a little bit wider. Good length, good pace, edge and half-hearted attempt. That was surely wicket keeper's catch. When there is a consistent bounce, Deflection from Tanvir Islam, but Andre Russell completes an easy catch in the end, taking the first wicket. Cricket is a team game, isn't it? And how about this teamwork? Brilliant. Uh, after the game, you ask him and he'll tell you that it was done out of purpose. Well. We all talk about game awareness, and he was absolutely ready for this unlucky way to go. It was hit extremely hard. Shamim Hussain gets a duck, 10 for 1. Good work, good work by Litan Das. Certainly saved the boundary. Well, he'll be breathing from here on. He'll be relaxed and relieved because he has picked up his first wicket in this BPL. He has impacted the game, that's for sure. Pointing to the real muscle that did the job, his brain instead of his biceps. This was a quick bouncer. There's always case for him to be bowling that length. At that pace, you can rush any batsman. Two wickets down in no time. Talukdar gone after scoring 13, 16 for two. Brilliant bowling by Tanvir. Hardly giving anything to Shakib Al Hassan. Uh, he's bowling with the right pace and the right trajectory. There goes Shakib Al Hassan. Did he connect it? No. At times it's good for a batter not to time the ball well. Uh, otherwise, uh, that could have gone straight to the fielder. But good balling from the left armer. Cramping Shakib. Andre Russell is greeted with a boundary by Sheikh Mahdi. Stunning shot. Really is in position early and putting pressure on Rai. Got to keep your eye on the ball and beautifully played. Didn't try to hit it too hard as well. Yeah, pressure. Chokes the thinking process, hence. No innovation, but he's not feeling the pressure. He's up for the job, he's dialed in. 
Shakib al Hassan top edging it and gets dismissed. Caught by Boshon, Andre Russell strikes for um, Kumila Victorians, picking up the big wicket of Shakib al Hassan. You got your wish from his. A bouncer was bored to Shakib. Uh, with some effect. You know, when you're looking to bowl a bouncer, it should be heavy and well directed. And everything was there. And then a good catch, well judged catch. Yeah, tremendous feeling. He's only a kid playing in front of a full capacity house and easy as you like it. It's a big loss, Shakib. This time the connection was sweet and the result sweeter. A six to end the over by Mahedi. Eight from it, Rongpu. Get the tempo. Oh, the arm ball attempted making room and hitting it delightfully well for six over cover. There's always something special about that shot. Exposing the stumps and hitting it hard. This time, Jimmy Nisham connects it and well enough to get a six. Wasn't he waiting for that one? The length was increased and the line was outside the off stump and the angle was bringing the ball back into the stumps and he used that angle with some effect. That was a mighty hit. Uh, absolutely smoked it. Never look at him. Great balance. We talk about balance when you're hitting a six. This looks great. Outstanding. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. A boundary to end the over. 15 from it. Rongpur. Down the wicket. Maybe. Maybe not as straight as you wanted, but still the result. A boundary. Good strike. Very good strike by Jimmy Nisha. They are loving it. Found the gap. There is a long on in place and a deep mid wicket. He split them both. Good use of the feet as well. He waits and this time he opens the face. What a delightful shot that is. Good slide in the deep. Picked up. They get a couple nevertheless. Yeah, Mushfiq Hassan now was the fielder on that occasion. Really good slide to cover that area. Yeah, they've been good in the field. Excellent work. And he gets up very quickly. There he goes again down the wicket. Gets a hold of that. That's uh, going many a mile into the stats. What a great strike that is for the maximum. That was even a better shot than the one a couple of deliveries ago. Good use of the feet again from Jimmy Nisha. Got to the pitch, hit it exactly where he wanted to hit it. Came out of the sweet spot and went a long way. He knows it. Oh, that sliced up in there. He's going to be out. Simplest of catches. That was rather silly. Not the action that was needed at this time and he threw it away. That's exactly the point I was making. Be a little more cautious. You've had a good recovery. Went for the big shot. Wasn't there. Easy catch to Andre Russell, a short third. He was never going to drop that. Too late. Saying should have done something different. Too late. Mahedi Hassan is gone for 22. Rank four riders in a spot of bother. 66 for four. And it's an appeal. They're all going up. The umpire is unmoved. What is going to be the verdict? Are they going to go upstairs? It may be difficult for the umpire to hear if he got a touch because of the noise. But they're not that convinced. So the keeper, Liton Dash, and the skipper, obviously, he was the closest to the batter. He's not convinced, as you mentioned. He's asking Dre Ras, but he's too far away. You even get an opportunity to hear it. Let's have a look at this. It's so difficult, uh, especially when you're in the middle with so much crowd. The atmosphere is electric. So you have to be 100% sure. Shuffle the swivels now. How far is that going? Just falling short. Good work in the deep. 
ensure that it didn't go over the ropes. Good over from uh, Dre Russ, three runs from it. On the wicket, gets a hold of that. Doesn't matter who is bowling, I'm going to put you away into the stands for half a dozen. He does fancy the leg side, Jimmy Nisham. And that's carbon copy of the six he hit previously. Good use of the feet again. Hit it over wide mid wicket. He does favor that area. Reversing. Now he's bringing out all the array of shots. That is a delightful way to get another boundary. Played it very well. After being hit for six, Morinali just overcompensating a little bit and the reverse, sweep, the reverse sweep came out. Played it very well. Now he's on extreme pressure. 11 already from his over. And it's uh, picked up and deposited past the boundary. Just the angle being used and his pace. Easy pickings for Jimmy Nisham. Seemed to be a gentle loosener for most people. There was nothing behind that delivery. There's a gentle loosener heading towards leg stump and was helped along by Jimmy Nisham. He's in good, he's in good touch. Yeah, it's a good strike, really good strike. Uh, and... ah, up in the air. There's a feeler trying to retrieve it. He's going to chase it to the boundary. They are loving it. Very, very good button by Jimmy Nisham. He's raced to 48 of 29 deliveries. This time over pitching. Musfiq and with a mid-off in the circle. Once he gets enough bat on it, was always going to go. Puran slashes it. It goes racing away to the boundary. Wow, what a strike that was. So good, the hand-eye coordination. Much too wide. Much too wide. And a player of Nicholas Puran's calibre will always going to cash in. There's the third man in place on the boundary, but he had no chance. Now, way up in there. It's sailing. And it's sailing deep into the ground. <laughs> that is the most expensive over of the inning so far. Brings up the 100. If Jimmy Nisham can do it, so can I. That is a terrific hit. He gets underneath it and just hikes it away into the stands. Cross seam delivery. And again he goes. That's uh, in the air. It might just, yes, Moin Ali. Eventually, Mushvik gets his man. Nicholas Puran holds out to Moin Ali. That's a big wicket. He was just starting to get into his strides, Nicholas Puran. And the change of angle worked. Didn't hit it as well. And Moin Ali at long on just had to come in a couple of steps. And look at the celebration from Musfiq. He enjoyed that one. He was being pummeled for 19 in five deliveries. And eventually got Nicholas Puran. He's gone for 14. Rank for riders, 104 for 5. And that's 50 for Jimmy Nisham. Easy push into the offside for his 50. Well played. 31 deliveries it took him. Appreciated by his teammates and the crowd. Oh, that's smart from Litton Dash. There's an appeal. I'm pretty sure we'll have a look upstairs. That in the ground, wicket broken well in the ground. My decision for a biggest win. Oh, Bushundra T. Decision pending is not out. Fine and four. That's the danger when you come around the wicket. The angle takes it down there. So a boundary to end the 15th. Out there in the middle. That's good. Into the gap. And it's a six. And that will take the pressure off. 
Well, the umpire is actually signaled a four. I went all it went all the way, but it's a boundary. But this is timely strike. A little off balance, but he got a desired result. Now goes over cover. This is clever. Very smart. One to the leg side. One to the off for Norrell. Yeah, the idea of a score, not the execution. He was looking to ball a slow one. Turned out to be a long haul. Easy pickings. Couple of boundaries. Ball the captain. Out of his crease. Maybe bowling just the wrong length. I think he's at his best. Goes long. He's absolutely nailed this. That's huge from the captain. What possessed him in this over? He was completely out of sorts. And last three deliveries, couple of boundaries and a six. And that was the best out of three. From the middle of the bat. Yeah, I missed the slot delivery in the range and it went, and I think, great. Oh, clever, very clever. How well has he done here? Oh, he's very efficient in uh, executing those strokes. The ramp, uppercut, reverse sweep, and he got the opportunity. It was a slow bouncer, well spotted by the captain, Nurul Hassan, waited on the delivery to come close and then just guided it over the head of the wicketkeeper. They need more of these. He hasn't, he hasn't won me over because Nurul Hassan has spanked him over mid off for four and now the over reads 11, 1-4-4 four, four for five. Nisham now goes over cover, he is so strong, he's playing a beauty of an innings here, Jimmy Nisham. It's a high risk delivery. This probably will be a six. Oh, would you believe it? When it's your night, it's your night. Nisham is running riot in Mirpur. Was it deliberate? For a second, I thought he just bailed out of that pull stroke and guided the ball over third man for a boundary. Nah. 50 partnership raised on the board. And what a time to bring that 50. This should be out. This should be out. And is a lovely innings from the Rangpur Riders. Captain comes to an end. He certainly played his part. Uh, slicing up in the air. Probably another slow ball this time. Didn't middle it. Making room and wanting a six not to be. Innings well played. 30 in no time. 157 for six. Brilliantly bowled. Oh, how unfortunate that is for Musfik. I mean, how many times we've seen in T20 good deliveries being carted away into the fence just like that outside edge. Strong wind, probably looking to hit it over cover. Excellent ball, almost was in line to hit that off peg, not to be. No hard work for Jamie Nisham. Four. E, that's middle. Wow. The sound that made off the bat. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. He is getting awfully close to what would be an incredible hundred. And here goes Nisham. Wow. 91 he is. Three deliveries remain. It's carnage. Oh my word. Well, he's got that left-hander's elegance. And it doesn't seem like a slog. Everything is so meticulously programmed and hit. Into the zone, into That's his... Nisham goes to 97 with another enormous blow. Oh, no. Oh no, what a pity. 
What a pity for Jimmy Neesham. What a pity for 25,000 in attendance here in Mirpur. Because that is an innings of the highest quality. More impression on Neesham. And here was he a juicy good thought. Read the game so well. Made the failure and then an innings like that from Jamie Nisham can lift the team. Two for 37, Russell. The pick of them was Sunil Narayan. But, and that work is in the form of 186. That's what the Camilla Victorians need to go straight through to the final. But he's ensured that he has given his team. It was a splendid knock from Jimmy Nisham. But oh, what? Oh, trouble, trouble. Oh, what a catch. What a start. It is brilliant from uh, Nurul Hassan, the skipper. Had to dive forward and takes the ball inches off the ground. Oh, what a start. What a start and what a catch from the captain. He scored 30 important runs, featured in that partnership of 50 with Jamie Nation. And now, that splendid catch. That was poor cricket, really. Very, very first delivery. That was a brilliant catch for Wiki Keeper New World. And Sinaloyan have to go. The golden duck. He's gone. Down the left side, I'll go to the boundary. Not the right line. When you'd have the ability to bring the ball back into the right hand, that's the movement that we have seen from first leg Faroqi. He needs to get it right. But I'm pitching it a little bit outside the off stump. Poorly lined the delivery. The length was, de was decent, but... And a huge appeal from keeper on the crowd. White ball, white ball. I have to say, Amir, I am not impressed with his approach. Not impressed whatsoever. I mean, from the coming of Victorians. Yeah, in the last couple of matches, what we saw from Lytton Kumar Das, he anchored the innings. Frustration is creeping in, and hence. This time he connects. And connects well. Boundary to finish the over. 16 for one. Take your time. Oh, again, down the wicket is the appeal that maybe he's just a, a little bit too far from the crease. Yeah, he's been able to create that pressure, Shakib. And Tohid is itching to find a boundary here. And he's giving you the feeling. And that was nicely done by the captain, Litton Das. And again, use the angle on that occasion. Moved outside the line of that delivery to be able to place the ball into the gap. This is good batting from the captain. Yeah, he knew exactly where the fielder was. There was a fielder in the deep in that direction, but he's played it a little bit more fine. And got enough on the bat, couple of bounces. Straight away, been greeted with the maximum. What a pickup shot that is from Tahi Dridoy. That's why he's so dangerous, because once he gets in, and once he picks uh, the length early, oh, he can put that away every time. Uh, in between the overs and the break, me and uh, Sir Kirtley Ambrose were having a discussion. Uh, would you be tempted to bowl Faruqi another over? And he nodded. And uh, that was the danger of mission. Uh, that's in the air, and eludes the fielder. And it's another boundary, turning out to be a good over. Ten already from two deliveries. That won't do his confidence any good. Didn't hit it well, but well enough to, to go over the head of the mid on fielder, Nicholas Puran. To the boundary. This time he cuts it and cuts it well. This is turning out to be a good over. What a lovely cut that is uh, from uh, Tahid Ridoy. Just as Amir was saying, he didn't bowl well the last game, went for a lot, so he's not high on confidence, and he's showing again. 
14 from three deliveries. Sometimes skip captains have to be stopped being so stereotypical. You know, give a bowler one over, give him two over, then pull him out. Sometimes if you got a ball all four, bowl all four. There it goes again. Another shortage delivery has slapped away to White mid, mid wicket for four. He's having a wretched time in his first over. Hassan, 18 already, with one delivery to go. Yeah, hard work of uh, the opening bowlers gone to waste. They were finding it very difficult to give momentum to this innings, but in this over, they got it. 18 runs. Take. Another one into the gap. Death touch. Oh, what was he trying to do? But in the, the end result is good. We'll have to wait and see whether it came from the bat or the pad. Looks to be leg buys. Trying something cheeky. Little dust. Came off the pad and sped away. Pass short third for four. Now why would I want to try cheeky shots when they have shots like those? That was a brilliant shot. Three extra coming for four. That's the way you got to play. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah, at times, just keeping still at the crease serves you better. Just like that, that, he smashed that and goes into the stand. What a way to finish the over. Four and a six, 16 in that over. After six, it's six. And he swung that round. Got a hold of that. He's gone many a mile for the maximum. Gee, this little guy's got some power. Diminutive in stature. But there's a whole lot of beef behind this. Bang! Throw that back. Mercurial, yet so watchable, is the heat. Avoid the angles it down. He's picked that up. That is a superlative strike. Using the angle and the pace of the ball to put it away for a maximum. He's got tons of talent. And if ever there was a doubt, have a look at this smashing six. Picked up the length so early and beautiful swing of the bat. Balance was great. That's how they tell you to play that swivel pull on the front foot. Fifty comes up for Tohid. What a knock of just 31 balls. Rising to the occasion. This is the all-important contest in this year's BPL. And he's played a gem. Down the wicket. How oh, well has he struck that? Went flat. Went with a lot of speed for a flat six. You've got to admire this. Litton Das this time using his feet and have a look at this. Excellent placement. Even if it was a miss hit, it still would have been a safe shot. Avoided the long on fence, the mid wicket fielder as well. Oh, he's moved away. Let's pick that up. He's really lashed on that one. That's gone over the top. That is a super shot from Lidon Dash. Yeah, I mean, you've got to give credit to the hitter here. Nabi, we know, is very accurate, creating his own angle and hitting it so sweetly. And that's been the hallmark of this partnership. Nothing of the edges, everything, almost everything of the middle of the bat play. Takes the wall, gets enough bat on that one. The swivel round, that's the top part of the shoulder of that maybe, but uh, good enough to take it to the boundary. Yeah, I can almost understand the thinking from Jimmy Nisham because all his protection is away on the leg side. Maybe not seam up was the right option though, because there was pace. And because of the pace, the top edge is found. But the idea was to try and get. He walks into that shot. Oh, what a delicate shot that is. 
just walked into it, opened the face, used the angle and the pace to get to his 50 with the boundary. Yeah, captain's knock. They needed him to lead from the front, and boy, has he led them from the front. Got a hold on that. Nailed that one. Up at here. Watch out. Brilliant. Don't do that. If ever there was a term coined as double-decker six, this is it. This was smashed. I mean, look at the balance. And absolutely audacious in his style. He was trying very hard, but this time around, from the middle of the bat, and went a long way. No mercy, none so ever. This is turning out to be a wonderful one chase. Mark, you still got a long way to go, but they've got nine wickets in hand. And this partnership so far is 140 from 90 deliveries. 89 meters, that one. Yeah, the, best, the highest part. Again, it's gone in the air. I just fall short, just fall short. And he comes back for the second. It was a valiant effort on the deep mid-wicket boundary. Slower delivery, hit a bit high on the bat. They needed that wicket. And how close was it? Very, very teasing. It's in the air, chance to break the partnership. Broken on second attempt, and it's Tohid Rudoy who has to walk back. Nevertheless, a brilliant innings, a match winning innings from him. It's a good catch. Shakib Al Hassan judges it to perfection. He's looking to hit this out of the ground. Long way up. It took a long time to come down. Yep, and on the second attempt. Keeping the eye on the ball and taking the catch in the end. What a knock. Incredible innings of 64. Well, that released the pressure. Pace offered. Accepted by the batter gleefully. Just guided the ball into the gap. And he's off the mark. Oh, we did a short third, man. That four brings up the 150 for the coming Victorians. And that was a good shot. Played it late, Johnson Charles. He's gone with it. Johnson Charles, he's a dangerous player. All the way from maximum, straight over the ball, I said. What a strike. 16 overs gone. Camilla, you need to find a way to get them out. Otherwise, they keep on picking up boundaries like that. Array of strokes, all the batsmen they have. Oh, you need to dismiss them. You can't contain them. In the attack after a very, very long time, and he starts poorly. It's a half volley, and it's wide, and gets the treatment. Fazlaq Farooqi, another classy looking shot. He looks very, very, somehow managed to see the back. Here you go. There's one for you. Soft dismissal in the end, but it is who else but Fazlaq Farooqi coming back in the second spell after such a long time and picks up a wicket straight away of his third delivery of this over. Soft dismissal. Johnson Charles just tapped it to short, fine leg, and easily caught by Hassan. Would have been better going for a bigger shot. Yeah, I mentioned. They require a hat trick. They got one. Intervals. That's cut away. That's a really good piece of timing. That's gone. That races over to the boundary. Lovely piece of timing. Lytton Das showing his class. All these ballers, they are afraid to pitch the ball up to Lytton Kumar Das. Way shot. Way shot. Comfort food. And he kept a little bit low. 
He's in such good touch. That's four more. What a timing. Look at that. Hardly any back lift at all. I thought I was going for one, but he's getting away for four. What a magnificent stroke. How many times we have seen a bowler getting away by bowling a full toss, but this time around, no. Goes down the wicket. This is trouble. Oh, yes. This time it's Lijun Kumadas who's hit that straight to Jamie Nisham. Yeah, the bat twisted in the hands, and that's why. Couldn't get the elevation, no timing. Hit the ball straight to Jimmy Nisham, who made no mistake. I reckon he gave it away in the end. Should have stayed there and see his team home. But the damage already done. A wonderful knock. A very good position here. That's in the air, over the head of uh, Hassan Mahmoud. And it's a boundary. It's all over. It's all over for the Wangful Riders. Like I just mentioned, once there's a, there's a boundary, anytime now, it's over. Seven to get from ten deliveries. I think. Get a single point. Give you, strike to what? Andre Russell. You will have the skipper. Oh, yes. On to the pads, and he's put that away. But uh, it's afflicted away for the maximum. And Kumila going to win by six wickets and enter the finals for the fifth time. What an exhibition of batting display from the Kumila Victorians. They came in and played with this dancing. But what a display. Magnificent. It was the show, 18.3 overs. That's the partnership that we are all talking. Well, all the bowlers suffered. Farooqi, I thought, was very, very good. Rangpur, 185 for six, thanks to that wonderful knock of 97 of 49, unbeaten 97 from Jimmy Nisha. <laughs>